Hi, my name is Audra Jaycott and I'm a Chicago artist and I work primarily in neon and ceramic arts. So one of my first pieces coming here to Chicago, um, I call them my breasticles. Um, I wanted to make Hieronymus Bosch-like uh, creatures that were neither male nor female. They were just in love or in lust. Uh, so they became kind of like my signature piece I made and I made a whole BFA show piece around them. Um, then in grad school, I got into the art and technology department at SAIC um, and then I fell in love with neon bending. Uh, the slut sign was a response to uh, me working at Tilted Kilt, making money off, you know, like our bodies and everything. So I wanted to make this sign. Um, and funny enough, it ended up being on um, episode seven, season two of Netflix's Easy. Um, they were looking for, well, in the episode, there was a scene where one of the main characters cura curated a all female artist uh, show. And the director, Joe Swanberg, loves neon art. So he really wanted a neon artist represented um, on the show. And they found me, a female neon artist. So I made that piece. And um, the show, every episode, has a different title card by a different artist. So they invited me back um, to make this piece, which was inspired by their uh, season two, episode three. <laughs> So um, the way neon itself works is um, you get tubes uh, that are tubes of glass in like four foot or six foot um, sizes and you go in front of an open fire, an open flame and then just bend it evenly around. Um, this one is clear glass so you'll be able to see the light inside. Um, you put, you weld the electrodes at the end and when given a current um, that element, the element of neon or argon, reacts to the electrical voltage itself um, and lights the gas up itself. Um, so yeah, back in the day I used to bend the neon, um, do the bombarding. Uh, the bombarding process is a fun and dangerous process itself. Um, with bombarding, uh, you hook it up to a manifold, you hook the neon itself up to a manifold, um, you heat it up with such a high charge uh, that all the impurities get sucked out of a vacuum. And once it's cool to the touch, you put in um, the elements of your choice. Neon, argon, krypton, they all make different colors. Um, you put that in, close the tip off, and buy a transformer and light it yourself. So, here I am safely covering all the electrical components because once you burn your, or burn, <laughs> once you electrocute yourself once, uh, you know never to do it again. All right, and here we go. And one other cute fact about neon is when you bend it, um, the template is uh, backwards because you're bending it face down so that when you lift it up, um, the front part is nice and flat. So, so um, on my downtime when um, I'm not, when I don't have access to neon or ceramics, um, I just do whatever I have access to. So uh, I went through a phase where I drew a lot. So I made um, an adult activity book, basically, because um, I don't know if you guys remember the trend of when adult coloring books came out. Um, I always thought that they should be called advanced coloring books, because to me, adult books, adult videos, adult anything makes me think of raunchy stuff. And adult coloring books weren't adult enough for me. Um, so um, I made actual workable mazes. This one's my first one. Um, so it does have a start and a finish and only one path, like how maze rules should be. Um, the tattoo girl. And I also made um, characters from my childhood since um, it's a play on making coloring books and activity books uh, for adults. Made a Tilted Kilt Girl. Um, but yeah, it's my adult activity book. Um, and with that, since I uh, scanned and digitized all the files, I thought I'd have fun with it. So I um, laser printed on uh, mirrored acrylic. So I got my tattoo girl on here too. Um, so when they laser cut, you have to make sure it's face down so they can etch it on here. And then it comes out like this. Um, and uh, I also got into 
uh, risograph printing or risograph, I guess it depends on how people want to pronounce it. Um, so it was really cool. They had uh, gold ink and I was able to put it on different colored paper. So that's again, my tattoo girl. Um, I made a cam girl that was like gold on red. I made my little red riding hood. And the way this works, um, it is a printer, but they do have um, plates. So they do each color one at a time. Um, and you also have to choose the opacity. So um, for instance, um, and my gadget, um, you could see uh, the hair from my digital file overlap with uh, her pink outfit. Um, so yeah, I learned that the hard way. And I made my little Miss Muffet. I went through a phase where I also got really into um, getting um, fairy tale characters and creating them for adults because I grew up Filipino and Mormon, so I didn't have a lot of the same uh, stories uh, growing up as all of my friends did. So. I wanted to take fairy tale characters and then bring them into my world as, you know, someone at the time that was in my late 20s. I wanted to bring them through my journey with adulthood. My, my little Monopoly man, of course. And my Jeff Goldblum friend of mine. So this Eat Me sign I made as part of um, uh, Alice in Wonderland themed party, party show, uh, the DIY scene in Chicago. Um, and yeah, uh, I really liked when Alice had um, those pills, or yeah, the pills and uh, the drink, eat me and drink me. So I thought it would be cute to make this for the show. Um, and also, it's dirty, so it fits my aesthetic. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm Audra Jaycott. Uh, you can go to my website, audrajaycott.com, um, or follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at, at Audra Jaycott. Thank you.